Hey guys, welcome to Slash Rex Games. Today I'm going to show you how to do some basic top down movement. I know I've done this in several of my other videos, however, I just want to do one specifically for this um, kind of thing. So here we go, I've got a uh, sprite player, you've seen him before, and here's his object, object player, and right now it does nothing. I've um, also got a room over here, and he's just in the center of it. There you go. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to move him up, down, left, and right, all that kind of stuff. So, object player, I'm going to add a step event. And then I'm going to code in some key presses here. So we're going to say here, for example, okay, make it bigger. If keyboard, mm, yeah, check. Now you may want to say pressed, keyboard check pressed. However, if you do that, then th every time the user pushes um, the left key, for example, it'll only move one little unit. However, we want it to be held down and keep doing stuff. So we're going to say keyboard check. And then here we're going to say uh, VK up. And you'd add another bracket over there. Okay, so up if if picture this gray screen as the the room. The origin is gonna be here right at the top left. So if we're going up, we are minusing from the Y. So here we're gonna say Y minus equals five. Okay, and I'm gonna copy this another three times. There we go. And then change this one to VK down, VK left, and VK right. These are just the codes for the uh, different keys. Alright, so down is going to be plus, and then left, change that to x, change this one to x. Left is minusing, because we're going to the left, which is uh, the x origins on the left, and the right, that's plus. All right. So very simple. Remember, keyboard check, because we want to keep doing it, we want to detect that the key is being held down. If you just do keyboard check pressed, then it'll only do it once, and then you've got to release the key again, and then apply it. Uh, pressure a second time to make more movement. Now I've got this as 5, you could say it is 10, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it as 5 and then double the room speed over here. I'm going to change this room speed to 60. Let me get it nice and smooth. Let me see, where is this? There, room speed, 60. Okay, so he's there. Alright, it's all good. Let's test it out. Alright, so there we go. He's in the middle. Check that out. It's pretty smooth. So that's um, increments of five every step as we're pressing it. And he's got full, like, I don't know, 360 degree movement. Any way, any direction he wants to go. You can simply work it out. So simply. Very cool. Yeah, so that's basically the most basic top down movement you can get, but it looks pretty badass. Look at that. Excellent. Excellent. So as simple as that and then you can add on the whole pointing towards the mouse and then some enemies and mobs and stuff and have a really great time so uh thanks for checking out this short video uh, i'll be coming up with more as i think of them um if you like this feel free to rate comment and subscribe tell your friends just get out there and um happy coding